Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I've had a lot go on this week. There's so much to talk about, and I'll talk about it a little bit before we get started with this fabulous look. Oh my goodness, I bought four different colors of Revlon cream eyeshadows. Now, I didn't use the pink one, this one here. I didn't use the pink one, but love these. I want you to be able to use these. I think cream products are really awesome on mature skin. They just are. Now, I do use a spray foundation, which is a kind of leaves a flat surface, so it allows me to add whatever I want to, whatever dimension I want, if I want it shiny. And, you know, I set it, of course, with my Madison Beer um, setting spray. Love it. I love this look. But this past a few weeks have been really trying for me and it has i've had a pacemaker put in and it's right here um, i have been off of work for a week now i'll be off all next week too just to be able to recover some more because i can't lift it i can't lift this arm uh, it's very 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 sore and so i'll kind of let you see kind of total it i mean it's it's the it's it's ugly but see the yellow? That means it's getting better. It's healing and that's good. But typically that was like total like purple. All the way down my arm, my hand here, where they put the IV in. The girl couldn't get the IV in too well. She did it three times. And then she said, that's going to leave a, a nasty bruise. And I'm like, yeah, it is. So, But I had wrecked my car. This has been going on for a while. Um... I've been riding to work with a friend of mine, and so it's just where I am in life now, and now I have this pacemaker, and now I've got to change a lot of what I do and how I do things, and it's really made me sit back and think about my life, so if you feel like, don't go wreck your car, girl, don't, if you feel the flutters, you know, because mom just passed away, what, in January. And I've been taking care of her for five years. And the last two years have been the most stressful, I think, time of my life. I think it was worse than getting my divorce <laughs> that I got, you know. Uh, it, it just was because she's your parent, you know. And there's nothing you can do except help them through it. And it's very sad and it's very draining on you when you're trying to work full time. And I do this. I also sell unique, you know that. I love doing that. It, this is my passion. I just love helping women feel confident and beautiful. And if there's anything in any little way that I can help you, please ask me. Okay? Ask me to do something that you're having trouble with. Uh, I would definitely do a video for you, please. Please do that. It gives me uh, stuff to do. And so I wrecked my car. I did, it did total my car. And... um so i haven't been driving in a while now it's been a while and then uh we finally go into the doctors and they're finally telling me what you i've got to have a pacemaker so this pacemaker went into me on monday and today is saturday so it hasn't even been in there a full entire week at least it's starting to heal it was the most oh sore scareful thing i've ever been to i mean or been through I mean, I've had two babies, and this was worse. Because it's the unknown. You know what to expect with a baby, you know? They can give you the epidurals and all those things. But this is knocking your butt out and <laughs> running wires through little tubes, and they're putting it in, and they screw it into your heart. Now, I had a really hard time with accepting it, but I have accepted it now because I do want to live a long life. And now I've got a chance to still continue to live because I wouldn't be here if if I had not done this surgery. I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't be living a whole long time. I would be gone. So I'm thankful that God just, you know, made me wreck and made me wake up. And so now I'm on the road to healing and uh, whatever it is he has left for me to do, I'm ready to do it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe this is something I, you know, I'm supposed to continue doing because I do love this and I do love connecting with you. It's just this is going to be with me for the rest of my life. And at some point, the battery will have to be changed and I'll have to go through not the whole procedure again, but just replacing the actual um, pacemaker itself. I got a Boston Scientific one. That's the name of it. So 
<sighs> I can still breathe and I'm still ticking and I want you to learn how to do this beautiful eye look. Oh my gosh, I think it's so pretty. I think you will love these colors. They're very light. Uh, they had a lot more colors. I just chose those four and I did find them at CVS. That's where I found these. The Revlon, I'm sure you can find them in at Walmart too if you want to. So let me close my eyes. You can see that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I did use some unique products, of course. I always incorporate that in. My foundation is unique. You always know that. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. And I hope you learned something. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is prime our eyes, girls. Yes, we do. I have my unique eye primer, which I'm going to use. And I usually put this on the back of my hand now, just like that. Just a little bit. So, yeah, isn't that awful? Hmm. Me and my me and my wreck. So I'm gonna place this here and I'm gonna place this here. Now I do love to use a brush to do this with now, um, but it really doesn't matter. You can use your fingers. You can use your fingers too. Just make sure that you if you're gonna use your fingers, do what I'm doing now and push it all the way up. Not all the way up to your brow bone, to your brows, but just right here. That's the far as you want to go. And then do this side. It's so hard for me. I'm so sore. I'm so sorry, y'all. It has just been a trying week. It's been a trying year, matter of fact. It really has. But this past two weeks, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot of stuff. All right, so when I went in to get some hairspray, you know me, I got to go walk around. And so I walked around and I saw this color and I saw this color. Now, these two are the ones that caught my eyes. So they are like a, this is espresso, and I think this one is called, I want to say it's called, oh, it's cream boulet. Yeah, so aren't those gorgeous? And when I open these up, they do have like a little shim to them. I didn't think they did at first, but once I got them home, they were, that's the way they look. Now this one is so, ooh, this is pretty for spring. This would be pretty for summer. This would be pretty, I think, by itself. This one is called, um, cherry blossom cherry blossom and then this one really i was like wow so this one here is called a uh, honey and it's gold you know how i love gold so i'm thinking i'm thinking i might use these three together today because i've got on this cool shirt it's leopard and it's a brand new shirt that i got from vivian O'Neill, and i love it it's really cute <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, let's rock. It's rock. Yeah. Rock. My husband's like, what does that say? I said, honey, honey. But anyway, let's, sh let me show you this. When you open these, now they do twist open like this. They twist open. And there's your color. See, that looks really matte to me. But these other ones have a little bit of shim to them. Now, the one thing about it is if you don't have a brush with these on the back side of this right here, you have a little brush that pops out if you want to use this little tiny brush. Now, I'm going to use Unique's brush, uh, the cream shadow brush, just because that is what I love to use for the cream eyeshadows. And because Unique still has some cream eyeshadows, but we don't have what we used to have. We used to have like 25 different colors, and now it's not. And so each one of these has that. So if you, if you don't have a brush with you, there's one inside of the package. They are always thinking of us, girls. They are always thinking of us. And then we are. I also picked up this. I haven't even opened it yet. Now, this is blush. This is a cream blush. It's a new formula, it says, and it's called Insta Blush. Woo, girl, I can't wait. Photo ready. I was looking for the name. Let's see. What's the name on this one? This one's hard to read, too. Why are we so blind when we get old? <laughs> It just I, half the time I'm trying, I'm doing like this or this, trying to figure it out. But when I start to use this, I'll know the name of this or I'll put it right here somewhere. I just can't see it, my old eyes. Like my old eyes. Okay, so the first color that I would start with, I think I'm going to start with this cream blush. Okay. The reason we'll start with that is creams, I don't know, for me, I like to add the lighter color first. Oh God, that's pretty. And then we want to use a brush. This is a cream shadow brush right here. So we're going to take a cream shadow brush. Now this is all set and ready to go. I can feel it. It's not very tacky now. It's ready. 
So take your brush. I don't know how this is going to work. It's the first time I've used it. You see, I haven't even, I haven't used this. You're using it with me. So if it's, it doesn't work, then you know not to buy it, okay? They're not that expensive either. I'd have to look at my receipt and see how expensive they were, but they were, they're, they're comparable to anything else, you know? $10 at the most. Ooh, ooh, girl, that's a lot of color. Let me wipe some off on my hand. Got a little bit too much. I didn't realize it would grab and hold that much. So what I'm do with this is to pat it in. I'm gonna do this eye for you and I'll do the other eye off camera. So let's pat this color in. Oh, girl, that is pretty. Now, the telltale thing will be, will it last all day? That's my deal. Will it last all day or not? I gotta move that off my mirror because I can't see. So what do you think of that? Oh, that's gorgeous. This would be really pretty by itself, honestly. If you wanted to go to the beach, you know, and just wanted to have a little shim color and put you on some waterproof mascara, girl, that'd be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ooh, there you go. I like that. That's really pretty. Now I'm gonna grab the other color and we're going to, I'm going to use the darker color. This one here, the Espresso. This is my next one. Now, you can still use this same brush, but I would probably, it's got two sides, so I'd probably flip it over. So let's see what Espresso does. I haven't tried this color either. See, it's still brand new, baby. So let's see how this will do. And I will most likely probably use another brush, not this one. I'm gonna use this one to apply it with, but I'm gonna come right in here to the corner and we're gonna place this color and kind of blend it in. And what I will use is a different brush to kind of blend it inward, you know, to give me a nice blended out look. That's kind of pretty, kind of pretty. I love to use, I love Unique. Don't get me wrong, y'all, I do. It is my jam, it is my favorite. I would never ever uh, use another foundation. I really love Unique's foundations and they're just perfect for my skin and I just love them, and there's not one that I don't like. It's I love I love the powder even. It's just they're just great products, and they last a long time. They look great on my mature skin. Y'all, y'all be sixty soon. I can't believe that. I got a pacemaker before I hit sixty. Woohoo, y'all! That was awful. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, it's been an awful experience. It's been an awful, painful experience is what it's been. Now, I like this because we can you can layer this on and you can make it as dark as you want to. So right now, I'm, I'm just kind of adding the color. It, and I guarantee you, you could probably put these on with your finger, okay? I just prefer to use a brush. And you can try, I mean, they put a brush in here for a reason. Maybe they really want you to wear, you know, to use it and wear it and apply it with the brush, but... I am going to find a little brush here. Let's, let's take this small one. This is a BK Beauty brush and all the BK Beauty stuff, everything will be linked below that I'm using. So you can go and grab you these brushes too and get my code, Melissa 10, and get 10% off of these. These can be bought individually. These are hot and flashy Angie's brushes. Oh, it works good. It, and these work good with powder or cream. So that's why I grabbed this one. Oh, I like it. How pretty. Now, I am going to add a liner to this. Yes, I am. Gosh, but they blend really nicely. Wowee. Okay, so let me go and decide which liner I want to use. I don't think I want to use black. So let me find a liner that I like. Okay, I decided on using proper. I am going to use the brown pencil. And we are going to just line right along the edge now i have really close set eyes so i don't come all the way in uh it would make my eyes it would make my eyes closer together and i want mine to look more wide apart so this is the reason that and you see how light i am that i only come to right here where my pupil is and i stop now i can flick this out just a tad if i want and just draw the line back. And you can have your little tiny baby wing. See that? Now, is it gonna stay there? It's just gonna be a tiny baby wing. It's really not gonna go anywhere. Now, 
As far as under eyes, I think what I will do is probably take, let's take the little brush that we had before. And I can either take this and put it underneath here, which is probably what I would like to do, um, only because I don't know how this cream will wear throughout the day. And I sure don't want it coming all the way down here. Now, right now, it doesn't look like it's going to crease. It's, I don't have to see any creasing. I mean, I've only had it on just a few minutes. So let's take a little of this, put it on the end of your brush, tap it off on your hand because you don't want too much, and just take a little bit and run it right underneath. Now, you could draw the line if you wanted to. That's up to you. I could definitely take this and draw a little line here just for a little definition right there in that outer corner. But then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna come back and blend it. I don't like uh, harsh lines under my eyes. I used to, I used to love it. I love the way it looks, but not anymore. Not with all my wrinkles. <laughs> and I swear life has changed y'all so much in this last week. This really made me think about what I wanna do in life and what I wanna, how I, how I want to, you know, for the rest of my life to be. So, and I sure want to spend more time with grandbabies, that's for sure. So let's blend, let's soften it through here too. After um, this weekend, we had time together, you know, Mother's Day, and I so enjoyed being with my kids. And I realized that where I am in life, and, you know, I've had this wreck, what it's been, oh, it's been a good three weeks ago now. It's been a while since that, but the, I just had the pacemaker surgery like Monday of this week. So, yeah, Monday. And I'm feeling good. I just, you know, can't believe that I have that in my chest. You know, it's really surreal uh, what I went through. It was very scary. Let me just say that. It's very scary. Uh, that surgery, going in and you're knowing what they're about to do to you and the big screens. And I swear, I told my husband, I said, it was like they prepped me and everything, you know, not in the operating room. And then they wheel you in there and the room is like really dark. And huge monitors you can see. And you know that's where your heart's going to be. And that's how they're going to put the leads in. It's just really almost, almost <laughs> said, I'm not going to throw up. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here and take it. And they really wrap you up like a mummy. You cannot move your arms or anything. And then once they give you the good juice, then you don't know what's going on anyway. But you know what it reminded me? I remember Star Trek when we were kids and they had all the lights and all the monitors. That's what it looked like to me. That was my first impression of that operating room. But they were really good to me. And um, I made it out of there. You know, I made it out of there. And that was what was important. So that is all I'm going to do, I think, to this eye. Should I add some of that gold? Do you want to add some of that pretty gold? Darn tootin, why not? We only live once. That's the way I've been. That's what I've been telling myself for the last week. Because <laughs> I've been stuck home. I haven't been able to work. I can't drive. I don't have a car anymore. I wrecked my car. And so, oh, this is pretty. So this is, um, let me see, honey. Looks like it says honey mail, but it is called honey. So I'm just going to put it on my finger. Let's see what my finger will do. So, let me just say, if you feel flutters, you feel out of breath, you feel like you can't catch your breath, girlfriend, then please go be checked. Oh, that's pretty. Go get checked. Don't do stupid stuff like I did. I would have wound up having to do the surgery anyway. But I would not have wrecked my car if I had listened to my body. And I would still have my car. And I wouldn't be having to buy one in this market of overinflation prices of vehicles. So I'm a little worried about that too. But there's one thing I do not worry about, and that is 4D mascara. It is my favorite. It always will be. And we are going to wear it today.
It's really hard to do my hair, though. My husband has helped me so much. He dries my hair, and I use the brush, you know. <laughs> and I, I do the brush, and he just holds the dryer because I can't hold the dryer. I can't lift. I can't lift this arm for probably another two weeks. I mean, I can move it and do stuff, but I can't. I can't reach up for anything. Um, some of you have probably already had this, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, this mascara is so pretty. Now I will do this other eye off camera and I'll come back and you can see both and you can see exactly what they look like. Oh, I like these. These are pretty. These are very pretty. And I'm going to wear it today and it is hot here in Alabama. It's not too humid today, so it should stand the, the weather today. Isn't that pretty? Go for it. These are they blend together really pretty. I like that. Okay, I like this. This is a great, easy summer look. Look at that. Ooh, go to the beach. Mm. Well, soon I'll get to go to the beach. All right, so I am going to finish out this other eye, and then we're going to try out that blush girl. Okay, so there's the other eye. Oh, my gosh, I love these. These are so pretty. Now, I am going to take some bronzer. We're already going to use some medium color bronzer. And what brush do I want to use for this? Um, probably should have had that out, girlfriend. Let me think. Which one? I want to use Unique's. I'm going to use Unique's brush here. This is like a little contour brush, and it cute? Cute. So, life's been really crazy. I hope y'all's life has not been as crazy as mine. We all have something, though, don't we? All have something. You see how I'm just patting that in? Now, I am going to put some on the sides of my nose. Just kind of warm that up. Bronzer is life. Now, before you see the little contour I did here, that is my wonder stick. I love this. So, see, I do love drugstore products. Um, typically, they're NYX or Revlon, it seems like. Um, I've tried others, but those two are the ones I think are consistently good. I do like NYX, though. I have bought a lot of NYX products. Liners, lip liners. I love the lip liners. We are going to use one of their lip liners today. So right now, I'm adding down the powder. And <laughs> we're going to take just a little bit more. This makes a beautiful eyeshadow, by the way. I, oh, I can't lift my arm up much. So there's my lovely scar. It's healed quite well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it or not. You can see it. It's, it's really small. Um, I'm hoping this incision, now this, let me turn sideways for you. Can you see that? That is the bump. That's where the pacemaker is, right there. It's so sore. I mean, it is very, very sore. So that's where you see those, those, that's the stitch, that's the incision, but those are the little strips that go across it, you know, to keep it, oh, like those first days I thought I was going to die. I did. I hurt so bad. Um, and, and they're telling me that that will kind of settle down. Because see, you look at this side, I don't have anything. When you look at this side, you can see that bump. And you know me, I love to wear little tops and all. And I know that it will fade. But I'm just hoping that this pacemaker will settle a little more into my chest and not be like a big bump there. So... If it is, it is. There's nothing I can do about it except go with it. Now, with this, I don't know how I'm going to apply this. Um, I am going to apply it just the regular way. Now, this is the color. What color did we say it was? It was such a pretty color, too. Is it on the bottom? It is on the bottom. I'll put it down. That's right. I was going to figure out what it was. I'll put it down here below because <laughs> the writing is too small. So it is retractable. Look at that. Let's see how much product is in here. I like to always do that. Let's see when it stops. Oh, so that's a good amount of product. That's where it stops. So we're going to come back down because you don't want to start there. So what I'm going to do is find the corner of my eye and I'm going to come down right here. And here's my bronzer and I'm going to place this right through here. Oh, that's a pretty color. And then what I'm going to do, let me, put, let me match it. Don't be, be blending it out till you get this on this side too and match it, okay? Okay, so you, I was thinking it might go on really heavy, but it's not. That's going to be really nicely blendable. 
Mmm. Mmm. I like it. And I'm going to put the top back on it. Because I'm notorious for losing tops. Not this top, but tops of products. <laughs> so we're going to use my Beauty Blender. My favorite. If you don't have the original Beauty Blender, I, I swear it's worth the 20 bucks. It really is. I know you stare at it and go, why is that $20? But I have had this a long time. It has no cuts in it, no dings in it. It's not coming apart anywhere. And I would typically, I use this every single day. And there's no many telling how many times I have washed this. And I, what I do is I just use Ajax and just put Ajax on it and then run it under the water. Oh, that's pretty, girlfriends. Oh, oh, I like that. Okay, see, creams are really good for our mature skin. So if you're not looking at uh, cream products, please look at some cream products. I'm hoping that Unique will come back with some cream eyeshadows. But right now, this is beautiful. That's beautiful. That's three colors. And I'll list everything below. And I did find these at CVS. I just happened to walk in. I had, I had to get hairspray. I was out of Big Sexy. Cannot be out of Big Sexy. That is like a tragedy in my house. So... That's the reason we went, and he needed to get some other things too, but wow, that's pretty. Now, let's do a quick lip. Mm -hmm. Now, here's my next. You see how tiny it is? These pencils are usually, let me see, let me find one that <laughs> I haven't used that much. They're usually really long, okay? They're really, really long. So, here we go. Let's do this. Let's line the lip. Oh, love these. They're so creamy. They go on well. Here you come down, like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you know it'd be pretty? Let's fill this in. Let's fill it in. Guess what? We're gonna use some of that gold we put on our eye here. <gasps> uh-huh. Don't be afraid. You can do it too. Now, you don't have to use the gold. You could use that other lighter color, the Cream Brulee, if you want to. I think either one of them would be pretty. The Cream Brulee would be lighter. Um, so, here's the two together. So, which one would you use? Hmm. I like the, I don't know, maybe the Cream Brulee would be really pretty because that will give it a nice ombre-ish look. So, let's use that one. See how I can change my mind? I can do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's pretty. Take your finger. My finger's clean. I don't have that other color on there. There it is. So pop it and pop it. Right there. Oh, I like it. And see, that's so easy. And that's going to dry. And it's really going to stay. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Uh-huh. Y'all, play with makeup. It's fun. Do you know how much better I feel now that I've done this? I haven't put on makeup all week. I haven't. I haven't done anything. And now all of a sudden I feel like, yes. Yes, I feel better. I feel better. Even though I got this big old lumpy thing here and all of this purple down here. And look at that wonderful hand. That, girlfriends, was purple. Purple. That looks good compared to what it was. All right, so I do love my Madison beer, and we are going to use some Madison beer. I am going to place it right over this. Okay, nice sheen. Now, I could use a luminizer or something across there, but I don't want to. I think it's got a pretty shine to it anyway, the blush, and it is a cream, so it's going to have that. Oh, gosh, this smells so good. Now, put it here and come all the way up your little pretty face. And set it, baby. Oh, I love it. I love this. I love this. I love it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. The last step. The last step is going to be our set and prime, which we use. I used it underneath my eyes here. But shake it up and then spray. Ah, the goodness. So good. Okay, so... What do you think? I think you should try this. And please, you know, like and share this out there. If you think this is worth of someone else watching, I would appreciate that so much. I'm only here on Sundays. Um, hopefully soon my life might change, maybe by September, and I'll be doing this a little bit more. 
And so we can have some more time together, girls. And we can do other things like clothes and shopping out a little bit, you know. We'll, you can follow me on uh, my adventures and things like that. That would be really fun. Now, always remember to fluff your hair. Fluff it out. And there you go. All right. So, I will see y'all next Sunday. Y'all have a wonderful week. And I'll see you then.